Exciting news in the world of Midjourney is that we have two brand new upscalers available today. And that allows us to natively increase the resolution of our images inside of Midjourney. So we can quadruple the quality of images that we get. In this video, I'm going to break down how to use these, what they do, and what the limitations are, as well as how they compare to other upscaling methods from paid providers and free providers. So let's dive in. In the announcements panel, David Holtz, our dear friend, announced that we can get these 2 and 4x upscalers simply by creating a new job. So all you have to do is come into your Discord chat. Once you've created a four panel upscaled one of the options, you'll get two new options, upscale by 2x and upscale by 4x. Now you can launch both of these simultaneously. So you can upscale by 2x and 4x at the same time. You can also use this with any of your old images, which is excellent. So all you have to do is come into your own personal library find an image that you want, come to the image, click on the three dots, go to copy, come along to job ID. From here, you can come back into mid journey, type in forward slash show, then you'll get job ID come up and you can paste in the job ID. Now it will retrieve this job as the latest image in your mid journey chat. And from here, you have the option to upscale by 2x or by 4x. Now the upscaler is subtle and tries to keep details as close as possible to the original image. So on the resolution side of things, if you're starting off with a square image of 1024 by 1024, when you double this, you'll get a 2K image that'll give you 2048 pixels by 2048. And the 4X will take you all the way up to 4096 by 4096. But it's important to note that if you're working in non-square images, you won't get the same number of pixels once you upscale your images. So if you're looking to get as many pixels as possible in your work, you want to be working in square. Because if we overlay a 16 by 9 image next to a square image, you can really see how much more we get out of the square images. But let's take a look more closely at how the upscaling actually works inside of Midjourney. So you can take a closer look. You see this is the standard image and the hair is, is quite pixelated. But as we increase the resolution, it maintains the fine details in the hair. And if we go all the way up to 4x, we can see that there is a splendid degree of resolution and detail. And it does a remarkably good job at upscaling this artwork. But if we were to put these side by side and take a closer look at what changes are made, you can see that there is some softening or smoothing of some of the details. So you can see in this upscaled version that the skin has lost some of the freckles, some of the imperfections. You can see that these markings on the shoulder are not as prominent. And there is less texture, uh, less variance in the depth of the shadows on this lady's chest. It does work very well. You do start to get this slightly more um, computerized effect, this soft glow, this smoothness of the skin and details. And again, this is only exaggerated further in the 4X version. Now, one gentleman, uh, Robert Schnecke, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, has been comparing some of the different upscalers on LinkedIn. And you can see here that he's compared the Photoshop, the Topaz AI, and the Midjourney upscaler. And you can see that the Midjourney upscaler has certainly added more smoothing, yet the Photoshop upscaler has not added as much detail. So from this, you would probably say that Topaz is the most effective, followed by Midjourney, and lastly by Photoshop. Now, I usually tend to use a free upscaler called Pixel Cut for my upscaling. And we can do a comparison between Midjourney and Pixel Cut on this furry little monster. And what you can see from this viewpoint is that they look largely the similar. You would say that perhaps Pixel Cut has maintained a higher dynamic range. But let's zoom in a little bit closer and compare the hairs. Now here you would say that just about Pixel Cut is maintaining slightly sharper renderings of individual hair. And if we look at a few other areas of the image, you can see that Overall, you would say that the pixel cut version is maybe just taking it by a notch. But that is only on this type of image. And also, there is such a huge benefit from being able to do this natively inside of Midjourney instead of going into another program, especially one 
that you have to pay for or bombards you with a huge array of ads. Now, if we look at another user who has been showing their illustrated upscales, you can see that Again, there is this theme of softening and a losing of detail. So overall, you would say that... Now, it's important to recognize that this is spending a lot of your fast hours because the 4X upscaler costs roughly 3X more GPU minutes than the 2X upscaler. And that both upscalers are only working with fast GPU time right now. So if you run out of your fast GPU time, you will only be able to use the upscalers again if you buy additional fast hours. They're unsure whether they will have enough GPUs to enable it in relaxed mode yet, but they're planning to trial this and see what happens, whether it breaks the systems or not. A couple of things to bear in mind is that currently, if you use it on tiled images, that they may not become tiled or seamless once you use the upscaler, and you may get darkened images sometimes if you upscale them. Overall, the upscaling allows us to increase our images by two or four X and natively allows us to have a much higher resolution without having to use third party tools. The upscalers retain detail excellently well and give us a lot more potential for large scale artworks. What do you think about the upscalers? Let me know in the comments.